Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video guys, we'll be talking about the best web browsers that you could use for Web3 projects this 2023. So before we head into that one, let's go into the intro. Let's go! Hi again everyone, and for today's video guys, we will be talking about the best Web3 browsers for 2023, okay? Not only for iPhone, iPad, and Mac, we also have some applications that are readily available for Android and Windows as well. So, let's get into this one, okay? So, what are Web3 browsers, okay? What is the difference? So, on the surface, Web3 browsers are like normal browsers. The distinctive feature is their connection to Web3. Built with the Web3 API support, they can seamlessly manage and interact with the centralized applications like websites, apps, wallets, etc. without needing an extension or third-party API. Now, why are Web3 browsers special? Okay, Web3 or Web3.0 is an advanced decentralized version of the World Wide Web okay, based on blockchain technology. The key term here is decentralized. Okay? Examples are data services are hosted by a distributed network of servers and devices, not a centralized server. So unlike its predecessor 2.0, it doesn't concentrate or centralize the power to the big techs like Facebook, Google, Apple, and etc. Guys, the government authorities allowing more privacy, less monopoly, monopoly, and equal opportunities. Okay, so here are the five examples that you could use this 2023 for your Web3 as browsers. Number one, we have Opera Crypto Browser. Okay. So let's get into the website, guys. And we have here opera.com and experience the Web3 browser for crypto users. Get crypto oriented security enhancements, manage multiple crypto wallets simultaneously, and access Discord, Telegram, and more directly from the sidebar. Okay. So this is the example of the screenshot. And in here, guys, we have uh, the buttons for Discord, Telegram, and Twitter if you're using for opera browser next we have uh first we check on this one and it is available guys by the way in ipad os ios android mac windows and linux okay next one we have brave browser so what i'm using right now guys is brave browser so privacy oriented web3 browser okay brave is a popular Web3 browser often commended, okay, for its privacy features, it adopted the Solana blockchain as the default for DAP support at the start of 2022. Alongside that, a self-custody crypto wallet, Brave Wallet, was built in the browser. The wallet enables users to connect the hardware wallets, Trezor and Ledger, decentralized, uh, decentralized wallets such as Metamask, Coinbase, and others, NFTs, and other DAPs without installing browser extensions okay interestingly brave also introduced a cryptocurrency bat token that you can earn and spend so in here guys if you are using okay brave there is a wallet and you just need to log in but for me i have different wallets such as metamask and hype keychain that's why i still installed for those extensions now we have bat so what is bat bat is a basic attention token which is rewarded to users guys if they choose to see Brave private ads, in turn, they can spend these gift cards, crypto, NFTs, tipping websites, or content creators, etc. So if you're uh, using the web and you are uh, browsing, guys, better use Brave browsers, okay? This will help content creators such as I am uh, with regards to BAT. Now, uh, check on your regions, guys. Why? Because there are regions that are not rewarded for this one. But first... Let's check on BAT. BAT is currently available and is listed in CoinGecko at 0.29 USD. And the all-time high, guys, is 1.9 US dollar. Okay? Now, for this one, uh, BAT is available to these regions. Okay? So, you check on this one. It's on the description. Click on that one so that you could check your region. 
So we have Andorra, Argentina, and so on. But if you scroll down, sorry to say, we have Paraguay, Peru, Poland, and Portugal. We don't have it on the Philippines. It has been uh, disregarded for the time being, and I hope this will return soon. So that a lot of uh, browsers using Brave here in the Philippines will also be rewarded with BAT. Okay? So you check on this one up until Uruguay, guys. Okay? Next. Uh, this one is available for iPad OS, iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Okay? So, you could download for Brave Browser. We have, next is Osiris Browser. Okay? I have, uh, I've checked this one and it's only available, guys. Uh, it has no website available. But this one, while Opera and Brave have added support to Web3, Osiris incorporates blockchain from the bottom up, developed by the the center net it is designed to deliver functional web3 infrastructures to enable users a faster web experience from free of ads and mass surveillance this one guys is available only for ios android and windows it's not available for mac and linux okay next one we have puma browser now for puma browser guys it's here on the website and puma browser discover web3 Puma is a mobile browser and wallet for the Web3 ecosystem. Private by design, today we enable seamless uh, payments for creators, app, and game developers via COIL and Interledger protocol and access the HNS to ENS domains. Long term, our goal is to give 1 billion people access to the peer-to-peer -peer and ownership-based economy via Web3, DeFi, and NFT projects. So this one... Uh, you could check this one and they are only available guys for iPadOS, iOS, and Android. Okay? Then last one guys, we have Beaker Browser. Peer-to-peer -peer Web3 Browser. I, ha um, I could not locate their website but they have their social media which is on Twitter. Okay? Beaker Browser. So you could search for that one in Twitter as well as they have their Gitbook. It's like a blog as well uh, about them and you could check it in here guys. Now, for this one, Beaker is a Chromium-based browser, so you'll find it similar to the browser you're currently using. Although, there is a fundamental difference between Beaker uh, lets you host websites. You can convert your device into a server creating custom hyperlinks. These hyperlinks can be shared with others and they can access the websites and their assets or make edits depending upon permissions. The platform boasts almost all the tools you need from the website editor to API integration. So it's a P2P networking and this one is only available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So this is good for developers, guys. Okay, Beaker browser. So these are the browsers that are already Web3 based. So I would like to make a shout out to the writer of this blog, which is R. Smith. So shout out to you for making this blog. And I would appreciate, guys, if you like this contents about Web3, um, a subscribe, a like, and a comment is highly appreciated. Okay? So, again, guys, uh, thank you to all our viewers, supporters, and subscribers. So, that's it for me, guys. See ya!